Many places in the world claim to be the quote-unquote entrance to hell. Hellum Township near York, Pennsylvania claims to contain the seven gates of hell. In Derwees, Turkmenistan, a burning natural gas fire in the middle of the desert is known as the doorway to hell. In southwestern Turkey, Pluto's Gate is just one of the newer additions to the ever-growing list of entrances to hell. But today we will be talking about something a little different. This is Hauska Castle. On the outside, it just looks like a regular early gothic castle, but the more you learn about it, the stranger it seems to become. Hauska Castle is located in the forests of northern Prague. It is next to the remnants of an old abandoned village. It was believed to be constructed sometime in the 13th century, between 1253 and 1278. It is one of the best preserved castles of the period. Once construction had been completed from the outside, Hauska Castle appeared to be just that, a run-of-the-mill fortress. But those who got a closer look at the castle could notice that there was something strange about the structure. The sides of the building appeared to have many windows, but upon further inspection, most of them are actually fake. There are sturdy brick walls that have been placed behind the glass planes. As if the fake windows weren't strange enough, the castle was also built without fortifications, has no water source, has no kitchen, was situated near no known trading routes, and for years after it was completed, it had no occupants. These conditions were exceedingly strange for a castle. Historians still do not know why it has been built, but many theorists believe the truth about what lied below the building is its true purpose, to hold back the monsters. Most of the castle's defenses were not facing towards the outside, but were built facing inward towards the inner courtyard of the structure. People have taken this to mean this castle wasn't built to keep people from getting in, but rather was built to keep something from getting out. But what is this something? Many believe this castle was built upon a massive hole, this hole being a portal to hell. To find out more about this, we will have to take a trip back in time. Over 800 years ago where the castle now stands, there was believed to be a giant hole. But not just any giant hole, but an endless pit that nobody could see the bottom of. During the night, the villagers of the nearby town were terrorized by strange creatures, half animal and half human, which seemed to crawl out of the hole to kill livestock and wreak havoc in the night, pulling villagers into the hole to either be devoured or to be changed into beasts themselves. They attempted to fill the hole with stones with no success as it seemed to swallow everything that was dropped down, it with no visible effect. It's reported that eventually a duke of the powerful Duba clan, in order to discover the secret behind the mysteries of the supposed gateway to hell, offered a condemned prisoner a full pardon for his crimes if he could just complete one task. He had to consent to being lowered down into the bottomless pit on the end of a rope and to report back on exactly what he found there. To this, the man readily agreed. But once he had descended down into the opening for quite some distance, there came a long period of silence. And then the convict began screaming uncontrollably from deep within the ground. When the duke's men pulled the convict back to the surface, they found that he had aged 30 years. His hair had turned completely white, and he was insane speaking in some strange language none of them knew. He died soon after. Some accounts claim that this experiment was repeated more than once with the same results each time. As frightening reports of the demonic creatures attacking locals and dragging them back into the bottomless pit began to grow in frequency, the villagers knew something needed to be done. Construction on the massive castle began with the hopes of sealing the gateway to hell for good. The room chosen to be above the hole? None other than a chapel devoted to St. Michael, the Archangel, he who is to act as the defender of the church and the chief opponent to Satan and who also assists souls at the hour of death. The paintings on the wall of the chapel, some of which were discovered to be the oldest in Europe, dragons, which are said to be a medieval symbol of evil, are being fought by St. Michael. Scenes of the crucifixion are painted in stunning detail, 
a beautiful portrait of St. Christopher, all adorn the wall. But what's strangest is the painting of a left-handed, half-horse creature aiming a bow at a human. References to pagan mythology were not something found on church walls, especially in this part of the country. In addition, the left hand, which is associated with Satan, is being used by the centaur. Many believe this centaur is a hint at the evil creatures which lurk beneath the church. The strange history of the castle doesn't end there, however. It remained vacant for many years. In 1584 to 1590, the castle underwent Renaissance style modifications. In 1639, a Swedish mercenary leader, who is also believed to be a black magician and alchemist, who was known as Oranto, decide to make the castle his home and laboratory. Oranto is believed to have performed nasty experiments in the castle, even having his soldiers kidnap some local villagers to be unwilling participants in these experiments. This lasted for several years, until at last two hunters willing to risk the consequences snuck up to Hauska Castle in the middle of the night and shot Oranto through a window, supposedly as he was working in his laboratory to discover the elixir of eternal life. Then in the 18th century it ceased to serve as a noble residence and fell into a state of disrepair, before being renovated in 1823. In 1836, during a walking tour of the region, Czech poet Karl Maka spent a night at Hauska, and supposedly in his dreams he was visited by a terrible vision which he later recounted in a letter to his friend. Maka described his soul descending into the pit and then being transported into a hellish mechanized future. In 1897 it was purchased by Princess Hohenloth and in 1924 was bought by the president of Skoda, who used it as a vacation home. However, two decades later, the occupants were a little stranger. During World War II, it's believed the Germans occupied the castle. During recent renovations of the castle, three Nazi soldiers were found buried after being killed executioner style, presumably by their own comrades. Why was Hauska Castle occupied by the occult influenced Nazi SS during the Second World War, when its location was of absolutely no strategic value? Nobody knows for sure because in in typical Nazi fashion, they destroyed all records and all evidence of their activities when German forces retreated in the face of the advancing Russian and American armies. However, it is said that some books on the occult were found inside the castle. Some speculate they used the castle to perform inhumane experiments on local people or prisoners of war, or it might have been a breeding farm for the so-called master race. The castle is still erect today and it is said to have paranormal occurrences almost daily. Even after the bottomless pit had been sealed, those who listened carefully to the lower floors at night could hear the scratching of the winged creatures trying to claw their way to the surface. Phantoms have also been seen walking the empty halls of the castle. In fact, many different types of ghosts are seen around the castle. A woman in a dark dress, a man in a black robe, known as the Guardian, who is said to guard the hole, a headless black horse, and the strangest, a mutant spirit that is a mixture of a giant bulldog, a frog, and a man. Caretakers of the building have witnessed a headless spirit that stumbles through the courtyard, streams of blood gushing from its decapitated head, whose identity they've never managed to uncover. The current owner of the building claims to have watched his drinking glass levitate off of a table where he and his friends had gathered one evening, only for it to calmly lower itself down and slide to the table center. One of the most evil spirits is usually encountered in the hunting lodge. One evening, two guests were winding down in their room when they heard a loud thump on the floor next to them. When they turned to look at the source of the noise, they were frozen in fear as two featureless humanoid shadow figures approached them and whispered about having killed young girls. Ghost Hunters International went to investigate Hauska Castle. You can find the episode on YouTube for free, but the quality is questionable. 240p questionable to be exact. 
However, this wasn't good enough for me. I had to do all the research so you don't have to. So I purchased this episode from YouTube itself for two whole dollars. So I could watch it in a cool 480p. I bought it so you don't have to. Was it worth it? Absolutely not. Most of their quote unquote experiences were personal and nothing showed up on their camera. In fact, most of the paranormal investigation videos on this castle in general are just personal experiences. Suddenly, Victoria begins to feel hot. It's like a feeling that I'm not choosing, if that makes sense. And this is all very exhilarating, but it's like an excitement feeling that's not mine. I don't know, maybe it's something in here is, and I'm not cold. I'm not cold at all, right now. I'm not cold at all. It feels like it's in my body. Uh, 3.6, 3.5. Are you on me? OK, I'm going to use a spirit box because I'm hot. I'm actually starting to sweat a little bit. Being somebody who actually believes in the paranormal, I feel like a lot of the supposed paranormal activity is not paranormal at all. I believe that this place is so unhunted, in fact, that people need to play up the hauntedness in the castle. This really bothers me as I am a ghost hunter, and it just makes real paranormal evidence that much less credible than it already is. But maybe I just have to see it to believe it. Either way, I need video evidence to be sure. Over the years, many paranormal TV series have visited Hauska Castle, all of which have concluded that it's haunted and many paranormal teams continue to visit the fortress with the hopes of documenting the paranormal activity that has been plaguing the area for centuries. However, the most people have documented are EVPs and recordings of unexplained screaming and animal-like noises. Yeah, this definitely spikes me. Check this out. It does it again. Other paranormal events that happen here quite frequently are flickering and even exploding light bulbs. Could it just be faulty wiring due to the castle getting new renovations? Nobody knows for sure. Although the owners claim they've had it checked numerous times. Another strange occurrence is the large number of dead birds that are found in the courtyard, appearing to have died of normal causes. Many people want to know what is under the chapel floor. However, the current caretakers say they have no intention of checking underneath the floor for some giant hole, saying they believe the old folk tales to be true. But now I want to know what you guys believe. Do you believe that Hauska Castle is the portal to hell? Or is it just a weird folktale to explain the existence of a castle that has no record of practical use? Let me know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe for more great content. We do all the research so you don't have to. And as always, I'm Alex and I hope you have a fantastic day. Cuts deeper than the roots of the trees that we planted in the graveyard. I don't think these scars will ever fade off. Good thing nothing seems to phase us. So numb.